Today we're discussing the subject of de-shopping, a word you might not have heard of. As an example, picture this. It's Saturday afternoon in a large clothing department store and the queue at the returns desk is building. Now, not all of those returns will be genuine ones. To discuss this in more detail, I'm joined by Dr. Tamira King, who studied this area in great detail. Tamira, can you give us a definition of de-shopping? It's very simple. It's when somebody buys something, wears it, and then takes it back. Or when somebody buys something, uses it, and then takes it back. So there's lots of research been done in de-shopping. It's been previously called returns borrowing, um, and it affects retailers across all different sectors. Can you give us a couple of examples? There are lots of examples in my research. For example, the elderly lady who borrows um, expensive, elegant dresses for cruises and then takes them back afterwards. Um, there's the gentleman who borrows the Porsche for the afternoon, drives it to a wedding and returns it with the addition of confetti in the footwell. Um, or there's an example the retailers give me where they get, for example, overcoats returned and there's still a prayer book in the pocket. And did they all get their money back? In these instances, yes. Does it matter to the retail industry? This is hugely important for the retail industry to resolve this problem. Recent research in the US says it's having an impact of up to $16 billion a year. Secondly, this is also impacting genuine consumers. What has been done to reduce the problem? Different retailers are doing different things, but they're all clearly worried about this problem. While some retailers are having dedicated returns areas now with specially trained staff to handle returns, um, they're also tightening their returns policies. Other retailers, on the other hand, are actually elongating their returns policies to try and get um, customers through the door. And the independent retailers feel very unprotected and they just feel they need to follow suit with what the big retailers are doing. So how has this all affected the genuine customer? Well, that's the second part of the equation. It's all about re-educating the genuine customer. Firstly, about that retailers are going above and beyond to give them great customer service. And secondly, to educate them about responsible shopping. So where is your research taking you now? What are the next steps? What's needed now is more research. This is an industry-wide problem, so it needs an industry-wide solution. So we would encourage retailers to get in touch with us here at Cranfield and get involved with the research. Tamira, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.